what have you found with regards to the effect of, uh, in particular, UVA on both photosynthesis and plant shape? UV photons, first of all, they're very expensive to produce, <clears throat> and they're much less photosynthetically efficient than the other colors. So they, those photons have to have a big value if we're going to add them to lights, because right out of the gate, they're expensive. So UVA is the ones we can actually start to see those. I mean, it's a very dim glow, um, but we, our eyes can't see them very well. But that's, as you said, that's what we call UVA. <clears throat> and there are some decent LED, UV LEDs at three, I think they're 385, 395, 405, right in that region. So it's worth considering what they do. What we have found with photosynthesis is the efficiency or the efficacy drops off very fast below 400 nanometers. Those they have to have value for some other reason than photosynthesis. Um, and we they do help keep plants short, but so do blue photons. And blue photons, we can buy blue photons much cheaper. So we haven't found a, a, a particularly large effect of UV for reducing plant height. <clears throat> and now there's enormous speculation in the community on the potential for UV photons to make more cannabinoids. <clears throat> and that fundamentally comes from the fact that cannabinoids absorb UV light. So if you have UV, the plant would synthesize more to block these, de these damaging photons. <clears throat> and if we could show that helps, that would be a very big deal indeed. We, we would immediately buy UV photons. We have never been able to show they help increase cannabinoids. Multiple tests at different doses. So doesn't mean they can't possibly work. We just haven't been able to show it in spite of multiple tests. And then our work has been recently confirmed by a group at Guelph in Canada they weren't able to show they increased cannabinoids either. So it's hard to get proof that nothing can't happen. It's just that all we can say is in the lab, we've not been able to show a beneficial effect on increased cannabinoid synthesis. And